Hello, my friends. My name is Eugene. Today is 22 days prior to my possible imprisonment in this Medway County Court. I try to approach it, then you will see it better. I don't have placard today on me. This is Medway County Court. You could see it well enough. I'm going to be imprisoned, possibly, by employees of Medway Children's Services, BC Aturu, so-called supervisor of so-called contact center in Wayfield, Sarah Cahill, and director of Children's Services and Domini. That happens now in a modern Britain. I don't think this sort of justice has to be in the UK. In breach of every elementary human rights, I'm not allowed to see my son more than four times a year. I'm not allowed either to tell him all what I want to tell him. In fact, I can tell him very few things under the concept that it has to be a pleasurable meeting for me and for my son. My son is not allowed to read court judgment. He's not allowed to read UNCR UNCRC convention. He's not allowed to know why he's in a foster care. And it all happens nowadays in Medway. In Medway, Chatham. I do not want to believe it, it happens everywhere or anywhere else. My imprisonment will be taking place 26th of October. I have several supporters who will come to support me. And I respectfully ask anyone who could see this broadcast, please come and support me either as well. You can see street, High Street of Chatham. There are shops and restaurants. I want to add that it's a matter of such outstanding cruelty. They, knock, they threw my son to foster care without any grounds. There was no grounds. Every time when I ask why your son went to care, I feel that I really don't know how to answer that. So I have to tell all stories. The first time he was taken because left him alone for a few hours. Then he was destroyed in the foster care. He psyched them, made a false psychological reports, and they are sticking to their guns, you see. They will never accept that they did something wrong. Oh. Never accept that they did something wrong. So, second report was, I was blamed that my father was in ghetto. Can you imagine that? After 70 years, 70 years after the war, I was blamed that I got his Holocaust trauma. This is a, such a dirty, anti-Semitic way of blaming Holocaust survivors that now his grandson should go to foster care because he was in ghetto and I was deemed unfit parent. <coughs> and off we, we go. Go, Eugene, treat your Holocaust trauma. But the problem is there was nothing to treat because three professionals said, you have nothing to treat, I have clean medical card. Just Karat can care less. I, sh I showed him all that, I told him all that. He still pursue what he's been told to pursue by children's services. That's the way how they operate. If they have cold hard evidence, they can't ignore, they can't argue with, they simply just ignore it. 
that's the way how they operate. Not easy to fight, isn't it? They listen to your arguments, they write your arguments, and they just do whatever they want to do. Doesn't mean I'm going to, to accept it. I appeal to all my friends who can hear me now, follow me on Twitter, follow me on uh, Facebook, sign my petition. Another thing I need to tell you how they antagonize children and how Medway Council and other councils, some other councils operate. Just hear me. Scenario one. First, tell a child that his parents want to see him. Okay, we give you this extra appointment. Not four times a year, maybe five times a year. Okay? Child is happy. Time came, he's being brought to so-called contact center. Looks like jail. Time come, parents didn't arrive. So children's services, social workers says, child, you see, we, did, we, we done everything what we could. We made this appointment, but obviously your parents do not care to come. Done. So child feels very much upset, depressed, angry to his parents. And of course, parents doesn't have a clue. They do not have a clue that this appointment has been arranged. They played a similar trick with me before, when I had to attend for a meeting for, with the psychologist. And when I called them, I was told there is no meeting. And then she turned up and I was not there. And they put all blame on me. Uh, this way was, this accident has been done by a social worker called B.C. Acheru. Yeah, B.C. Acheru, this is her name. She breached court orders before, previously, and I paid attention of a judge Karat, but he didn't care that she breached his own orders. Who, who cares? Not, obviously, not judge, okay? Uh, supervisor of the contact center, she falsified contact notes. Obviously, she couldn't prove that I said this or that. I couldn't prove otherwise, but judge preferred. Her, her testimony as a professional witness. So, she is a professional witness and I'm sort of amateur parent, you see. Fair enough. Now they want to drag me to prison because I expressed my views about them. If they would not agree, why they don't go to the court for a defamation? No, they just want to, to drag me to prison because I breached injunction of a judge Hammerton who prevented me from naming a uh, social worker. My friends, you can, uh, people can criticize here anyone they like. They can criticize members of the parliament, ministers, they can criticize even sometimes the royal family. But seems to be social worker, B.C. Arturo, she is immune from criticism. If, if you criticize, you go straight to prison. Yeah? Isn't it unbelievable? Above any criticism. Don't agree? You don't see your child, you go straight to prison. Fair enough. I mean, unfair enough. So now you can see what I'm facing. Oh, thank you for joining. Now you could see what I'm facing. Being in, being in, in prison because I love my child and I dare to stand up and to, and to criticize children's services. Eugene, except you see him four times a year, except he will tell only what we allow you to tell him, except he will stay up to 18 years old, foster care, except he, he become orphan during his life. Just accept, shut up, otherwise he put you to prison. This happens now in, uh, in Chatham, Medway County Court, Medway Children's Services. Just for the fact that I named social worker B.C. Archer of your supervisor, Sarah Cahill, and director of Children's Services and Domini, I'm supposed to go to prison up to two years. Please come to support me on the 26th of October, 10 o'clock, 9, 10 o'clock in, in the morning. Thank you very much for your time.